Whether the airplane you fly is big, small, or a drone, you should always check the weather before you fly. Weather can have a great effect on our flight conditions and can affect the safety of our operations. Basic weather minimums to be able to fly your SUAS are 500 feet below clouds, 2,000 feet horizontally from clouds, and minimum flight visibility of three statute miles. There are many different sources of weather information. However, the ones recommended by the FAA are these. Flight service by using the website www.1800wxbrief.com. It sounds like a phone number, but it's a website. Create a free account so you can use the briefing service. You can also use the National Weather Service at aviationweather.gov. This is free and does not require registration. You should also review any temporary flight restrictions at tfr.faa.gov. In addition, you can also consult ATIS, ASOS, and AWOS services. ATIS. ATIS stands for Automatic Terminal Information Service, and it's a continuous broadcast of recorded aeronautical information, usually in airports. We listen to ATIS on the radio or the telephone. ATIS is what pilots usually listen to when they're flying to an airport before approaching and communicating with a tower. Now, let's discuss wind direction and norths. Yes, norths. We have different norths. There's true north and there's magnetic north. And it's important to be able to tell them apart. To help remember, if it's written, it must be true. So, if it's written and you're reading it, it refers to true north. But if you're listening to it, like on the radio, then it's not true, it's magnetic. Next, let's talk about AWOS. This stands for Automated Weather Observing System. This is a continuous, real-time weather report system that reports on airport weather conditions. These are operated and maintained by aviation service providers. AWOS will give you information on barometric pressure, wind speed and direction, temperature and dew point, visibility, sky condition, precipitation type, runway surface conditions, and more. We can get AWOS weather information via radio frequency to pilots in the vicinity of an airport. The message is updated at least once per minute. Optionally, you can use a computer-generated voice message available over a telephone dial-up modem service. This message is updated at least once per minute. Also, AWOS messages can be disseminated via ground data link in METAR format. We'll cover METARs in the next movie. ASOS. ASOS stands for Automated Surface Observing System, and this is another type of automated weather station. It's very similar to AWOS, but more sophisticated. ASOS can give us all the information that AWOS gives us, but can add type and intensity of precipitation and obstructions to visibility, like fog and haze. ASOS can also track wind shifts, rapid pressure changes, and value of accumulated precipitation. These systems generally update reports about once an hour. However, if the weather changes rapidly, special reports are issued at much more frequent intervals. These reports are typically monitored by control towers and human observers can add and do add to the automated observations.